Can I reasonably just run past the trees and not even bother fighting? Yeah, should be fine. Oh yeah, there's only one. I forgot there's only one between me and where I'm trying to go. And then just nothing. It's actually a surprise, honestly. There are a number of, like, walkway going along a cliff type environments throughout the series. And they have a tendency to feature significantly more, like, actual enemies. This entire area just features, I believe, one crystal lizard and one black knight. And even the Black Knight's like a secret bonfire. They have to like wrap back around and find kind of tucked away. Like, like even from here, it doesn't look like there's a ramp. Like it looks like this dead ends against the wall and then you just go nowhere. But then you like, as you get closer, the depth kind of starts to settle in on your eyes and you start to realize, oh, this goes somewhere, oh shit. I am honestly surprised that I have not been invaded. Like, even a single time. I've been human for a bit. In fact, I... You guys didn't see that, because I edited it out, but... I had, like, a somewhat panicked session where I ran back to Sif with my ten flasks, and I was like, I need to use the restroom, and also I'd like to get a drink, and like, you know, there's, it's just a break moment. And the whole time... While I'm taking a break, I'm just kind of- I'm just somewhat panicked and moving through it quickly, because I'm like, what if- what if I get invaded? I'm standing- because I was standing directly in front of Sif's gate while I went off to deal with break-related issues, and I'm like, this is- this is not a- ah, ah. What I should have done is quit out, I remember- I just remembered. I should have quit out, because if you quit out, I think you just load back- back right where you were, and nobody can invade you while you're gone. Yay, hindsight. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, he just h hides by the door. It's not very nice, Mr. Havel. Boy, are you defensive. Woohoohoohoo! Wow. Just eats through you, doesn't it? Not the best strategy. He's kind of ready for you. Oop. Hey, buddy. Just going for some backstabs, don't mind me. Oopsie. It's just... It feels a little cheap in a lot of fights in this game, but for Havel in particular, it's just like... No, it's just the reasonable way to get through this fight this this century. Because he has got, like, infinite defense. Poor guy. <laughs> he tried to roll. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's less funny when he starts coming after me. And I fear for my life. How you doing? You doing good? There we go. I should not have wasted my fireballs on you. They're much better foes to use that on. Boost critical attacks. I forgot I was wearing that. Completely forgot I was wearing that. Right, the uh... I think a backstab's a critical attack, right? I think that that's where it comes in handy. Pretty uninterested in most of these items, so yeah, let's go with the uh, Havel's Ring. Boosting my equip load significantly. Just gonna whip out the calculator for nice, quick, precise results. Without having to take up everyone's time. Uh, 21.3 is my new cap. I can actually go a fair bit in. Ooh. Tom Cruise is the last samurai. <laughs> Oh shit, that's too heavy. <laughs> I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. That's still way too high. This can't work, can it? 
It can't even work if I take off every other piece of clothing. Eastern is too heavy. I know, I'll have to put on the stone armor, that'll fix it. Oh my god. <laughs> I just, I'm just leaning a little bit away from wearing the pyromancer stuff all day, forever. The knight armor is way up there too, though. Looks neat, though. Do I not have a leather helm? Is there- or is there not a, a helm for the leather set? That's alright looking, sure. It is kinda nice to see your character without a helm in these games, even though it makes like no sense to not wear a helm, like in in-universe. That's a real bad idea. There's the original locked door. Hey, Barrel Man, how you doing? Barely working? Ha ha ha. See you later. Gotta go back, gotta go up past Taurus. Wait, did I ever break this one? There, let's deal with this guy real quick. Oh shit. Uh, upgraded weapon had effect. I don't remember. That actually spooked me out a little bit. His color didn't look right for being a white phantom, and I kind of thought he was, like, real. And <laughs> he was gonna get me. He's gonna get me, you guys. Help me out of here. I like the look of this set until I move. In motion, this set looks kind of strange. It looks like, it looks like it's all, like, bending weird and stuff. Please don't fireball me right now. Is, uh, Solaire here? Is he gone? He's still here. Hey, how's it going? Any follow-up dialogue at all? It's been a while. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Ginger Ne- <laughs> I almost said Neon Kennedy, what the hell? Ginger Leon Kennedy, here to save the day. Ginger Neon Kennedy. There we go, let's put those comments to rest. Yes, I did see your comments. All 50 of them. Apparently you can't hold any directions when you press the slide button, which is a change from the other- the, that it is made later, is that the rest of the series allows you to slide by holding the B when you're already moving. Here you specifically hold B while not pressing a button, which is weird. Am I under attack right now? I sounded under attack. Howdy, folks. Bad idea. Oh, boy. Wasn't there three? Oh, there, yeah, there's the third guy. Excuse me, just taking a trip. Don't mind me. There we go. Just want to make sure to give myself a better spawn. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Maybe I accidentally cancelled it? Alright. Let's do this. Hmm? Hmm? Goodbye. Oh. Look at you actually dropping things. Ugh. Fire bad. Just say no, kids. Whoop. Hey, you were much less involved last fight. There we go. Just want to take this shortcut because I wanted to have a little bit of a more convenient bonfire set up. Having to go the long way around. Rue Havel, I believe, was the last bonfire. <clears throat> hey, guys. 
Oh, Jesus. That actually startled me. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. Stop it. Bad dog. Leon Kennedy says... No, that's just your name now. Neon Kennedy says no to skinless dogs. They're tearing America apart. They're a scourge. We need to get them skin grafts. We need, Neon Kennedy is going to start an entire charity dedicated to uh, zombie dog skin grafting. These poor guys, just, they just deserve be they they deserve our best. <laughs> that's it, ragdolls. Oh boy. Oh, you poor creature. Oh, this room. This room. I remember you. The rage torches. Where they just they throw little torch tantrums on you at you and then you're just shot yeah, that's the attack. And then you're just shocked by how much damage it actually does, which is way more than you'd expect. Like they just have sticks that are on fire. How much damage can they really do? Oh my god. What was that sound? The fuck was the sound I just heard? Gotcha. Maybe it was just a weird death rattle? I thought I heard like a bizarre like... freaking bloodborne sound behind me. Somebody! Anybody! Help me! Unlock the door! Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? I think I've skipped his first line of dialogue every single time, every single playthrough, just because he you try to press A on the door and he starts talking immediately. I think I got that key, huh? Ooh. Ooh. I can play dress up. I could dress up like him right now to his face and he'd be like, are you, are you, are you mocking me? Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery, and I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have my... Besides, I have... You're the wrong guy. Right. It's just, it's easy to mix up the apprent... the... like, apprentice dudes that are trapped in areas around here, but that's the wrong guy. He's the sorcery dude. I mean, I'll still free him and everything, it's fine. I wonder if there's like a whole zone back there. That's just like hidden away. Why is this well filled in? Maybe because of the plague, I guess? Not that the plague doesn't magically fill in wells, I'm just saying like they probably... were like, this well's poisoned. It's cancelled. <laughs> I'm cancelling this well. I mixed him up with the pyromancy trainer though, I think he's in a barrel somewhere. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh no, I'm being ambushed. <laughs> oh shit, he spawned. That was weird. He like was invisible. Those are some strong throwing knives you got there. They're, they're killing everything behind me. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to being able to do that. I don't think I usually use a big enough weapon. I don't think I usually can just, like, casually swing through the wall. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's the mail breaker. That was, that was great. <laughs> just disarm the entire ambush pre preemptively. Not a guy there? I thought there was a guy there. Did I imagine that? Hi, anyone behind me? Nope. Just making sure. Very important. Ow. Ooh, hey doggy. Hey buddy. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 
It can't get me. I'm around the corner. It's the same thing as being invincible. Ow! Wow. Of all things, you'd expect a jumping attack to provide some hyper armor. But he was able to knock me out of my jumping attack with a little, a little pokey stab. Okay. There. That's practice for the pyromancer. Oh, shit, dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it went away. Wasn't that the Gravelord Servant one? The Gravelord Servant stuff is super weird. Because, like, I think you only can... Like, Gravelording just makes that thing show up in your level. And that's it. And then when you're... If you're in New Game Plus, special enemies show up here and there. But, like, if you're not in New Game Plus, then fuck all happens? It touched the sign of the Great Lord Servant, but is Dimbus. Cammy. Cammy. Ratman. There's... Oh, shit. I just clicked on it. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That just doesn't go well. I did it. I saved the world. Shit. Oh. Damn it. Oh. Wait, what do I what have nine? Oh right, this one doesn't restore me to ten. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I have a pretty good record with the Capra Demon of uh, beating him on like one of my first tries on a regular basis. So that's a bummer. Can I run through this zone? It's probably not a good idea. Let's try anyway. Wee! Ow. Wee! Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. This was a mistake. Literally can't like go out the first step. But I I've beaten the Capra Demon on my first try a lot of times. Uh, and that was a shit show, but I kind of did it on accident because I was considering the idea of, Like should I should I go fight a Gravelord servant? That, be, that could be kind of amusing. Oh, the door's already open now There you go I was considering the idea of, of fighting a Gravelord servant dude even though <laughs> volunteering to enter a PvP a situation against somebody who is like intentionally inviting PvP means you're just setting yourself up for failure if you yourself are not practiced and also physically set up for PvP. Because they usually have builds that specifically benefit them in those situations. And you usually don't! Howdy, everybody. Honestly, it's probably easier just to fight everyone than try to charge through the zone. It's actually a really short zone. Hey, buddy. Give me a little intro stab. There we go. Ooh. Combo. Oh, man. So sneaky. How will I ever see him coming? Oh, shit. There we go. Well, say goodbye to all those summoning signs. They were an interesting sight at first. Now they're all gone. And my Gravelord decision has been made for me. Oh. The gra oh, the Gravelord signs still show up when you're hollow. Alright, let's try to do better. Excuse me. Excuse me. Out. Out. One dog down. Other dog? Other dog? No. Other dog. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Mistake made. Okay, line of sight's kind of fucky.
Nope. Ah, oh. Well, now I'm just making a fool of myself. I think that's the unblockable attack, right? Because you can't really block the... His two-handed overhead, overhead swing. I think it doesn't have damage that it's just going to penetrate your stamina. It is interesting to know that perhaps part of why he seems so... Oh, the demon great man, machete. I don't know why I was thinking of some other word. Machete. All strength. 40 strength to wield. Jesus. The lesser copper demons use these great swords in pairs. The blade is cast, iron, and hooked. The sword is imbued with no particular magic, but for those who have the strength, its great weight will smash foes mercilessly. It's an ultra great sword. Look at that thing. Look at that silent hell ass looking thing. I can't even two hand it. Alright, now we're just embarrassing ourselves. That went pretty clean. Second time around. Yeah. Bit of an awkward fight. It kind of feels like an afterthought. I get the feeling that the, uh... I don't know for sure, you never know for sure, but... I do kind of feel like the Capra Demon was maybe never meant to be a boss fight. And was just meant to be a normal enemy you fight in the Demon Ruins. Taurus Demon might be that too, but I, I kind of get more of a feeling the Taurus Demon might have actually been meant as a boss fight. Oh, this is probably where I was thinking of for that ambush. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, right, it's not gonna reach. Pyromancy. Pyromancers need some serious, like, ba some baseball training. They're, they just embarrass themselves. Hey, buddy. Your, uh, your ambush partner's gone? I don't know if you noticed that. There we go. He tried. I get the feeling that, uh... Um, something about the Capra Demon just being really simple. I guess he has a handful of moves, but he do he does come across as generally simplistic for a boss fight. Which might be why they put him in, an, in a situation where his physical location is dangerous and, and challenging. The key to the depths. Two dogs, confined area. Unfortunately, some camera issues with the trees they put in there, too. They put some douchey foliage in there just to add to the problem. Is this the route back to fire? Yeah, that's where we are. The good bonfire. You still have your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moss? I need your souls. <laughs> Just kind of a general piece of advice uh, in... Society as a whole, really, people tend to not respond very well to the phrase, I need your souls. <laughs> this is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life, but now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. You've come to this land at a bad time. There are nothing but hollows in these parts. Save for me, of course. You're undead too, aren't you? You be careful then. <laughs> ah, go down along the side to reach the depths of the undead bird. Only uncanny crooks and liars to be found there. Hardly a place for a lady like myself. But who knows? Maybe you'd fit right in. 
You sell a few good things, right? Right, you sell transient curse, which is good because it lets you fight spooky ghosts. Purging stone. Yep, I think those are the two main reasons to be psyched about her. Doesn't hurt to have some antitoxin either. And a bunch of arrows. Dread. What a humdrum lad you are. What a humdrum lad you are. Ta da. We've looped back around. There's that one rat, I guess. How's it going, ratty? Just don't want no surprises, even though he really does not tend to, uh, attack you. Hey, buddy. Nope. There you go. Everybody, step right up. For bad ideas. And plunging attack. That, yeah, totally hit him. Hitboxes. <laughs> The only downside of using this bonfire is there's a lot of these assholes around here. They all die in like one hit and they're kind of pointless, but they're here and in the way. Nope, can't use it. Sometimes you get away with it. Their, uh, the, their forgiveness varies a lot from zone to zone. I always notice that in the upper end at Berg, you can just go straight to that bonfire, like, immediately. Like, it's no big deal, and it'll de-summon someone that's in the process of trying to stab you. To the point where I've actually been hit and knocked out of the bonfire by somebody who was being despawned by the bonfire, which is always a fun moment. It'll surprise you, though. Every now and then you find zones where it's like, it's just, they just won't let you use them at all. Because there's somebody, there's some dude aggroed on you five years from now, and he's, and he's got a grudge until you, until you deal with all of your personal problems, not getting through. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? <laughs> Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Here you can learn sorceries. Not really the build I'm going for, but access is good. And he and now he just sells stuff that boosts sorcery rings. Oh well. Have you heard of Big Hat Logan? Master Logan is a great sorcerer and my teacher. Both of us came to this land as undead, but one day he departed, leaving only a note. I suppose he wished to keep me out of harm's way, but where does that leave me? I have dedicated myself to sorcery, but Master Logan could find no use for me. Ah, yes, the note that Master Logan left. It only said he would travel to Anolondo by way of Sen's fortress. I can only guess that he seeks the regal archives. For Master Logan is a tireless pursuer of wisdom. Wisdom trumps all. Everything else is hogwash. When the curse turned him undead, I'm certain that he only felt it was the perfect chance to visit this land. I only wish that I had his courage. Two things are required for sorcery. First, you must equip a wand. Second, you must attune a sorcery. Then you will be ready to fire away. Oh, and don't forget to aim. Two things are first, then... Oh, goodbye then. Do stay safe. Oh, don't forget to aim. Don't you fucking tell me what to do. 